Welcome to the first episode of a new series called Conservation Successes, where, as you might have guessed, I'll be covering some of the victories that conservationists have had amongst the many challenges that they face on a daily basis. This week, I'll be talking about the Vincent Wildlife Trust's Pine Martin Recovery Project here in the UK. This has had phenomenal success in recovering our native pine martin population back from the brink of extinction. A few weeks ago, I made a video covering the pine martin as part of my Britain's Rarest series, and I was really encouraged to see how well it was received. So, if you haven't seen that episode yet, and you'd like to know more about the pine martins themselves, and what you can do to help them, then I definitely recommend that you check out that video before or after watching this one. In that Britain's Rarest episode, I was joined by Leo from Natural World Facts, and this week I'm lucky enough to have him back to help me tell you all about the Pine Martin Recovery Project. Before we get started, please make sure to subscribe to my channel, as these videos take a lot of effort to make, and so it's really encouraging to see that people are enjoying them. In the 19th and 20th centuries, pine martins were well on their way to extinction due to habitat loss, the fur industry, and predator control associated with game shooting. Something needed to be done. The Pine Martin Recovery Project, as mentioned in Alex's Britain's Rarest video, is the UK's largest effort to reduce the pine martin population decline. Small populations were known to remain in parts of Wales, like the Cambrian Mountains, Snowdonia and Carmarthenshire. However, after 30 years of research by the Vincent Wildlife Trust, no evidence was found to suggest that pine martin populations were recovering in England and Wales. Therefore, it seemed viable to reinforce these existing populations where the habitat is still suitable. Scientific research was carried out, and in 2014 the results of a biological feasibility study were released. This supported the idea that the reinforcement of the Welsh pine martin population really could be successful. Wide-scale public opinion surveys were carried out as well, because in order for the project to be successful, reinforcements had to be socially feasible as well. Central Wales was chosen for these reinforcements due to the large amount of well-connected woodland and the relatively low risk to pine martins of road mortality. DNA evidence from 2007 and 2012 also suggests that there was a very small pine martin population still present there. With this news, the conservationists got to work. 51 pine martins were legally captured from the stronger Scottish population between 2015 and 2017. After being given a few days to acclimatise in release pens, the pine martins were then released into forested areas in mid-Wales. Thankfully, these translocated pine martins have since become well established, and breeding has been recorded every year since the translocation began. So, pine martins look like they might be back on track in Wales, but what about England and Scotland? Well, Scotland's pine martin population has shown an encouraging natural recovery, thanks to increases in legal protection and afforestation. Some pine martins have even expanded their range into Northumberland and Cumbria in northern England. The Vincent Wildlife Trust have been working to support this English pine martin recovery as part of the Back from the Brink project. This involves using teams of volunteers to install nest boxes to act as resting and breeding sites for the pine martins, whilst also raising awareness for their conservation. The Back from the Brink project is coordinated by Natural England and it involves several different wildlife conservation NGOs. The pine martin is just one of 20 species that Back from the Brink are working to save in the UK, so comment below if you're interested in knowing more about this huge conservation effort. In southern England, however, it didn't seem so likely that pine martins would make it back there naturally. So, the Gloucestershire Wildlife Trust have been working closely alongside Forestry England, Forestry Research, and of course the Vincent Wildlife Trust to reintroduce these animals into the Forest of Dean, somewhere in which pine martins haven't existed for 200 years. Similar research was done to assess the feasibility of reintroductions into the Forest of Dean, and it was concluded that the region could support up to 200 pine martins. So, in September 2019, 18 pine martins were successfully reintroduced into the Forest of Dean, and it's hoped that overall, 40 pine martins will be reintroduced there. 
Before the Pine Martin recovery project, the last recorded sighting of a Pine Martin in Wales was as roadkill in 2012. Now they can be found all across the country. I spoke to the Back From The Brink project officer for Pine Martins and he told me that in England, evidence of Pine Martins has now been found as far south as the Peak District. This all goes to show just how quickly Pine Martins can recover when they're given the chance. These animals have every right to exist in areas where they have evolved and it looks like with our help this possibility could become a reality. I hope you've enjoyed learning about this fantastic conservation success story. If you did, make sure to give this video a like and subscribe to my channel so that you can learn more about wildlife and conservation and what you can do to help.